Hey, it's I, Jared A. here again. I uh, hope everyone's doing fine. We're back again with a demonstration video, more or less. Using a weathered pine knot here. It's got a serious crack down the middle, right by his nose, all the way to his mouth. I decided what the heck, I'll still use it anyway. I planned on making a gargoyle, but I decided not to. It was just one of those things, you know. Ended up not finding a proper piece of wood to do the gargoyle, so I decided to do the regular um, bearded kind of wood spirit kind of guy thing. I posted an equipment list in the video description, so if you're interested, go ahead and take a look. Uh, it should cover all the stuff I used to make this uh, particular spirit. Pretty much the same setup across the board that I use for um, all my other pieces. Here I'm pointing out a piece of wood that's covering the spirit's mouth and I just want to leave that there because it looks like a piece of hair blowing in the wind so it makes a natural look. Here's another scribe tool I use. It's a, called Tool Shop, some generic brand from China. I show another one, it's got a hook on it in the upcoming scenes. I use it to define the features of the face. You know, it uh, comes in handy for uh, lines and such. Here's a new tool that I'm going to introduce to y'all. It's a basically a wood ball stylus with little ball shapes on the end for burnishing and smoothing out like features on the face. It comes in handy. Um, I decided to um, throw that in as a new 
tool and tip for you guys. Also have this uh, scribe, it's a tool shop. It's a generic thing made in China. Someone, uh, a friend of mine gave it to me a few years back. And uh, you know, I'll take any tools people throw my way and just test them out, you know. Project time on this was about four hours, <laughs> real time. I decided to spread it over a few days instead of do it all at once, which I usually do. Just kind of scope it out, you know, just not um, try to get it all done in one day. I'm sure people make a living you know, and they want to get um, as much done as possible. But in my my case, I like to sit back and relax, check it out, you know.
Yeah, I pull up uh, images time to time when I'm carving for reference. This one's a uh, Grigory Rasputin, the mystic from Russia from around the turn of the century. He's got like a unusual face. I like his features. And so I use it to uh, get some uh, ideas for the eyes and stuff like that, for example. Well, it's about time to wrap it up. Uh, you guys take care. I'll talk to y'all later.